We have a super large canvas here and it's an awkward size. Like how do I even convey this to you? Giant canvas, weirdly long canvas. How big even is this thing? 16 by 40 inches. So I've had this canvas for a really long time and I am on a mission to use up things that I already have. And so I think I know what I wanna do with this. I've been thinking about it for a while. I've had time to plan something. See, with something like this though, it's intimidating. I mean like a weird long canvas. What do you do with that, right? I will show you my plans. I think this is going to be a very unique video. Let's prep our canvas with some magenta paint. I'm going to be super intentional with this painting and do this magenta underpainting with the purpose of having it show through on the final painting. Usually when I do this, it's a muted burnt sienna or brown color, but I want to play around with really bright, playful colors for this painting. And the reason why we're doing something playful anyway, this is a massive giraffe and he is going to be wearing a suit. So stay tuned to see what the outfit looks like in a little bit. But for now, let's work on the giraffe. So I'm playing around with different types of brush strokes. You're going to see impressionistic strokes here and there, and also a lot of little furry strokes happening. And I'm going to intertwine both of those brush styles throughout this entire piece, just for experimental purposes. <laughs> I tried to incorporate a lot of different shades of purple in this giraffe because I thought it complemented the warm yellowy tones within the fur. And because of those brush strokes and all the layers of color, I decided to be brave for this suit as well. So you're gonna see a lot of different types of brush strokes within the giraffe's outfit in a little bit. See here, I'm doing a bunch of red strokes over top of this magenta. And then I did orange and pink and yellows. And if you look at it up close, there's just a rainbow of colors in the fabric. Making the buttons gold here, and it will add a nice reflective touch to the final painting. I'm trying to think here. It's day three of painting this, I believe. This is going pretty well. I haven't done a painting this large in a long time. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna start working on the background now. And I'm really excited for this part because this is where things are gonna get more dramatic, I guess. <laughs> So at this point, I don't know how many hours I've poured into this painting, but today we are starting the background. Now the process of this piece is way different than how I usually go about things. If you've been with my channel for a while, I usually do my backgrounds first, but because I wanted this magenta to kind of pop through here and there, I decided to kind of do the background last and see how it went. It was pretty time consuming, but I do think it was worth it. And I liked how the pink really leaked through the foliage. Mm -hmm. 
by the way, before I forget to tell you this, this painting and limited edition prints will be available at mirabyler.com. There's only 125 prints in this limited edition print run, and 25 of those prints are actually on really large rolled canvas where I hand embellished gold paint. So it's like each one is slightly different and it's really cool. And then I have normal size prints too, but I just wanted to tell you in case you want a print for yourself, I'm so excited about this painting if you can't tell. <laughs> I spent so long on this painting that at some points I actually lowered my easel to the ground and sat on the floor to paint because I just needed a steady hand or I just got tired, whatever. I just, sometimes I just sit on the ground and it was really comfortable. I don't know why I don't do that more, but I just thought I would tell you that little tidbit. I feel like this giraffe is probably really sophisticated because he's visiting vegetation that probably doesn't grow where he's originally from. This here is what I would see in Florida. <laughs> so maybe he's visiting Florida for something. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to do this combination of plants to go with the background and the suit and just be funky and experimental. This piece was honestly so liberating to make because it came from my mind and yeah. Oh, by the way, I got new paintbrushes, so I had to get those out. <laughs> this was such a good week painting and I think it was so good for my mental health to just do a big piece, zone out, Listen to a good audio book. I listened to Educated by Tara Westover, by the way, if you're curious. And just have fun as an artist, you know? And I kind of went into this with the thought that, you know, maybe this will turn out, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm doing this for the process and we'll see how it goes. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think I'm even happier with my experience during the process. So if that's of any encouragement to you, if art intimidates you and you stress out a lot about the final outcome, reflect on what the process does for you. Are you creating with pressure for the final outcome or are you creating to rest and take your mind off of things and process what you're feeling or just to experience the mere process of creating? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy the process. So I thought I'd share that with you. I'm really enjoying trying to use up art supplies this year. I have a lot of canvases and paints and markers and everything, and I'm trying to simplify my life a little bit and use the things that I already have. And it's making art a lot more fun because I can look around in my studio and be like, huh, that's a wonky shaped canvas. Let's paint a giant giraffe on it and just do silly things for the sake of having fun and creating and I'm just really enjoying it. I don't know if you can tell, but I've just been so inspired lately. And I have a lot of other things painted that I will eventually share. But for now, you get a giraffe. I'll share more later. I also, weirdly, near the end of my paintings, will paint with both hands. Just thought I would tell you about that since I was just doing it. But here we are adding gold touches to these roses. And I added those to my prints as well, the large ones, not the normal ones, but yeah, that's how it turned out. I'm really happy with this and it was fun. Hope you enjoyed this. I don't do voiceovers very often anymore, so this feels strange. <laughs> Thank you.
This thing is massive. It's over half the height of my body. <laughs> this painting feels really special, and I think part of the reason for that is because it's my first painting of the year, but also because I made up a lot of it, you know? I used reference photos for the anatomy, for color palettes and stuff, but ultimately I ended up doing my own thing. <laughs> and it felt good. It felt good to just see what came out of my mind. So I hope you like it. If you want prints, I have really large rolled canvas prints with hand embellished gold paint that like I am adding to the prints. And I have normal size prints too, so you have two options. This is a limited edition print run though. The original painting will also be available. And keep your eye out because I am going to do a couple more animals and clothing paintings on a larger scale. And I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna start one here this week because I'm like really into this right now. And you folks know that this is the time of year that I like to experiment, so. We'll see what happens, but this is it. I hope you like it. He says hi. You can see the gold in the roses and there's gold buttons though. And I'm just so happy with those little accents. By the way, the sides of the canvas are bright green to tie in with the leaves here. Thanks for hanging out and watching and creating a painting with me. As always, I enjoy creating with you. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.